Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure MySQL 8.4.4 LDS version on Ubuntu 24.04. First open any browser then go to MySQL official website that is mysql.com. Click on downloads, scroll down, click on MySQL community downloads, then click on MySQL community server. See here we have the these versions. Select the MySQL 8.4.4. But when you are trying to install if you are unable to find this version you can click on this arc choice there you will find okay select the version then select the operating system ubuntu linux then select os version see here we have the 22.24.04 and 24.10 so i am on 24.04 if you are on 22.04 select it if you are on 24.10 select this one select your version see once we selected it populated list of debian packages that needs to be installed okay so instead of downloading each package just to download this deb bundle package so click on download then click on no thanks just start my download see download started and its size is 476 megabytes wait until download completes once download completes we will install the mysql server 8.4.4 and ubuntu 24.04 in meantime please subscribe my channel see download is completed now open terminal click on show apps then click on terminal Go to downloads, cd, downloads, ls, see here we have the tar file. In this tar file, there are tar dev packages in this tar file. So, we have to untar this file, tar hyphen xf, then give the mysql, give the tab to autofill entire tar file name. Hit enter. ls, see here, these are the list of the debian packages are bundled in this tar file. Okay, control it. Now we have to install these Debian packages. Control A. Before installing them, install following dependencies. sudo apt install macap ipadic hyphen utf 8. I will keep these commands in the video description. And one more is lib aio hyphen dev. Hit enter. Provide the password of sudo user. Type A for confirmation and hit enter. We have successfully installed control L, ls. Now install these packages sudo dpkg i star dot deb. Hit enter. See installation has been started. Now set the password for root account. Hit enter. Again confirm. Hit enter. So you can ignore these errors. See these components not installed, no need to worry, but we have but we have installed MySQL server. Control L now verify the status of the MySQL service, whether we have installed or not. Sudo systemctl status MySQL. Hit enter. See MySQL server is running and it is enabled. Q2 quit control L. Now connect to MySQL server. MySQL hyphen u root hyphen p. Then provide the password that we have provided for the provided or set the password for root account. See, we have successfully installed MySQL server 8.4.4. You can also verify the version. Select version. See, we have installed MySQL server version 8.4.4. Control L. Now we will create a database. So databases. Before that, we are verifying the list of the databases that comes with MySQL installation. See, these are the default databases. Let us create a database, create database, now verify again, see we have created a database, let us switch to this database and create a table, we can use the command use is the keyword to switch to database from current to another database, verify the current database, select current underscore database. It is select database. See, we are in the current day. We are in the bank database. Now create a table. Before that, verify table. Show tables. See, you don't have any tables. So let us create a table. Create table.
now verify tables show tables see here we have a table now insert some data into this table Let us verify the data. See, we have inserted these, th these three rows. Now we will create a user. Before that, verify the list of the users. So, users, this won't work, but we can get the list of the users by running the command select user from mysql.user. See, these are the default users that comes with MySQL installation. Let us create a user. Create. Provide password in singular double quotes. Now verify again. See, we have created a user. Now exit and connect to MySQL with this new user. Exit. Exit. MySQL hyphen u. Provide new username hyphen p. Provide the password of this new user. Now verify the current user. Select current underscore user see we have connected to mysql server with the user james now to try to switch to bank database see accept denied for the user james to the database bank okay why because we have created user but we haven't granted any privileges that's why we have received this error okay exit now we will see how to stop start and restart mysql service on ubuntu 24.04 sudo systemctl status mysql see mysql server is running now stop it sudo systemctl stop mysql it is stopped now verify the status see mysql service is stopped control it we can also verify the status by trying to connect to mysql see we are unable to connect because mysql server is stopped so start it again sudo systemctl Start MySQL. Hit enter. Now verify again. See, we are able to connect. Okay. If you want to restart, just replace the start with restart. Control L. We have successfully restarted. If you want to verify, just give the status command. See, we have restarted six seconds ago. Control L. LS. See, we have successfully installed MySQL on Ubuntu machine. So, these files are not required anymore. First, remove this dot debian packages. rm star dot deb. ls. See here, we have one more file that is tar file. Remove this one also to clear the space. rm give the MySQL, give the tab to autofill and hit enter. ls, we have cleared the space. Until now, we have connected MySQL by using command line kind. You can also connect MySQL by using MySQL workbench or db1. Those are the most popular tools to connect to MySQL server. Okay. So in this video, we have seen how to download, install and configure MySQL 8.4.4 on Ubuntu 24.04. For more MySQL tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.